Good news. We found a way to make these turrets more durable. They should now also work in the future. Most of them, anyway. Why hadn't you done that already? That's how time travel. <laughs> That's how time travel. In the future. Feel free to mark this as a flaw in your test report. Okay, so we have this light bridge now, which only works in the past or present. And depending on which way we put the portal here, we'll change the way that it blocks everything, which we need to actually have it there so we can block all these turrets and get past all that. Uh, but now comes the trickier part, which we can put that there and that there. Actually, no, I probably want it the other way around so I'm not uh, having to go through there. Put that there and that there. That's not the way I want that to work. Hang on. Put that there. So now we can put a uh, blue portal over here in the future. Blocking off everything and now us to go through here safely. Uh, there's also this button here which I should have probably done beforehand. Because I need the cube. I need the cubes. Hang on. Okay, grab that. That's actually on a... Oh, that's... That's what that's all about. Okay. <laughs> so I can't get that until I've done something else. Right, I was doing it correctly. Of course I was. Why would I think otherwise? Why would I completely reset the test when it was working perfectly? Things that I'll never know the answer to. So we go over here. Right. Right. Understanding. You know, getting... We're pick, picking up what I'm putting down. Uh, we put the blue portal there, orange portal there, we go through, press that, go back through, and then stand the switch, so that disables the fizzler, giving us a cube. Okay, so we can now put that on the button, and we can also go get the second cube, except I don't think we need it. I don't think we need it. I might be wrong, but I don't think we need it. I also need to figure out which timeline I need to be in when I get to the exit. Okay, so where we need to have our portal set up so that we're ready for the end. I think I want to have the future uh, portals be the ones I want. No, the past portals I want to be in the positions that I need them to be at the end, maybe. Actually, no. Maybe I should do it the other way around. Oh, I need. Oh, I need. I need to do this much better than I have done. Okay, but I can leave the cube there now, which is good. Let's go over here, and let's set ourselves up a little bit. So, blue portal there. Nope, I've ruined it already. Um... Let me just go through here. I can place the blue portal here, there from here, and have that there. I don't know where exactly I want that, but I can put it there. I can use the green portal to shoot that through. Then I need that over there. Okay. But now I need to actually do it in a way that I can be safe. I don't know. Okay, so... Let's re redo the test again. That there and there. And then... How can I do this in a way that is helpful? This one took me a while. First time through as well. Can't really get through that, but that's okay. That there, blue one there, and there. Okay, so I think I need to be on this side starting off, just so I can get the portals in the right positions. That one there. And I don't think I need this one here, so I'm just gonna go through, back up quickly before the things shoot me, the turrets. That's a little bit risky. That's fine. Uh, that one there. Which one do I need to move? I need to blue- Oh, no. No, no. No, not like this. Oh, no. Oh, that's not good. Can I go back? I can. If I place a blue portal here, I can go back. Place an orange portal there. Place a blue portal here. Go back out of the way out of there. That's not the way you're supposed to do that, probably. I'm probably doing this test completely wrong, but it's okay. And then we need a blue portal... ...there. I'm gonna have to move that anyway. Uh, but, uh, the orange... 
Ah, what have I done? What have I done? What have I done? Oh no, I have to redo it again. It's fine. Um, I just need to put that the the do the, the that one there, and then blue portal, orange portal. Okay, 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 okay. So let's go through time. Let's put an orange portal there. Let's go back and go forward in time. Orange portal there. Okay, okay, okay. So now, place an, a blue portal in the same place as the orange portal in the past. Except I'm gonna have to change that anyway, so that's fine. Uh, let's just go through back across as we can. That's not what I thought was gonna happen. Uh, hang on, I need to go back in time. Oh, I put that in the wrong spot, but that's okay, I think. Let's put a blue portal that way. So that's going through there now. You can put that there and go through. And now we place the blue portal there and we can go to the end. That took a lot less time than I thought it was going to take, which is good. We've made it to the end. Cool. Nicely done. And don't worry. You won't encounter any tarts between the test chambers. Um, Except for these ones. Excuse you. Lying to me. At this point, Not again. you might rightfully be asking yourself why we put you through all this. This testing track was built as a failsafe. My job is to ensure that testing can continue, no matter the circumstance. You see... This facility is largely controlled by one entity. For some reason, this entity seems completely unresponsive. 20 years from now. That's why the future looks the way it does. We have lost all control, and we need to find a way to restore it. This is probably my favorite thing in this game, is having this gigantic fan behind the wall in the background, having the shadows of all that, because that's only there in the future, but it looks just so cool. Also, is it just me that does the music change when we travel between times? I think it does. Anyway, let's press this, and probably use the F key to see where everything goes. Uh, I think I need to put that portal there before doing anything else. Is it on or is it off? Hang on. There we go. So those are both doing that now. So now... We need to move that portal up there, probably. Uh, but we need to go through here. And we need to place the green portal there. And we need to... Press the button to respawn it. So that it flings itself through. We go through here. And we place a portal there. And so we have it make, we make sure it's in line so that the present cube gets hit by the old cube, which puts them both onto the button there. Now we can also... If I do things correctly, we can also do a bit of that to get the future cube back to the past with us. So that will activate that, and that's gonna activate that. So that should, should be everything activated now. So now we just need to get to the end of this place, which I can't remember how exactly you're supposed to do this. Not the way that I've done it in the past, probably. Um, hang on. Do a bit of that there and that there. Nope. The portal there, maybe. I don't know. Come on. I don't know how I'm supposed to get onto that from there. It's a little bit weird the way that this works. This part of this test. Blue portal there, maybe? No. I can't make any sense. I don't think we're supposed to be using time travel to get it in the right spot, I don't think. Or maybe we are, and I'm just wrong. Please, thank you. Because we can do like that. But we need it to be in the specific timeline. We need it to be in the right timeline. Because 
that panel over there isn't there, and the door over there is also... No, that... No, the, the light the, the light bridge isn't active here because we need the button, or a, a cube on the button over there, which we don't. Because it needs to be in the past. Okay. So now... Oh, what? Did I reset... How did I manage to reset the cube? Oh, no, that doesn't make sense. How That shouldn't have reset the... That shouldn't have reset anything. Why, why did it reset something? Also, we can't replace the portal there, so let's just... That doesn't work. So, yeah, why did that die? Why did the portal... Why... That doesn't make any sense. Okay. Let's try just getting that back then. That shouldn't have destroyed the future cube. I don't know why it did. Okay, so we put that one... There. This really makes no sense to me, for some reason. Okay, we stand... here. I don't think that's the way we're supposed to solve that, but it worked. Just have to get the right angle while standing halfway between the portal there, somehow. Anyway, just need to stand over here and orange portal. So let's jump in orange portal there. And now we can go to the end. Well done. You have proven yourself to be quite capable. Keep going and you might actually fulfill your true purpose in all this. Okay. You are in the home stretch now. Only a few more chambers until this testing course is over. Time to introduce the last new testing element. These aperture science excursion funnels will mostly work in both timelines. Have fun exploring all your options in the next chamber. Okay. So we have all sorts of things now. Let's start off by getting a cube. Seems like a good plan to me. So let's press that. Now we have a cube in both timelines. Uh, but we also need to put this onto the button as well, so let's go do that. By doing it like that. And doing it like that. There's also uh, stuff over the top of the portable walls up here, so you can't actually go through them. Okay, that there. Now let's go through time. Because both of those, has, whenever you have the button, uh, cube on that button there, it will uh, reverse the flow of this thing here. So, uh, but anyway, let's put that one up there then, so we can pull ourselves up this way. And let's respawn the cube in the future, and leave the cube, cube where it is in the past. Because that way we can have stuff do different things in different timelines. And we can figure it out. Ah, uh, okay. So... This also means we have to do weird things with the portals, though. Okay, so... I guess orange portal there, time portal there. Oh, right, that's, that's, that's right, I forgot about that. Because when we move something in the past, it changes it in the future, so we can do that now. Uh, but we want to keep that one separate, probably. Well, we can do that to switch it through now. Let's put that up there. And I think I possibly want to move myself to the end first. Probably. So, let's just... Orange portal there. I feel like I've made a mistake. That's okay. Because I can't place a portal there without it breaking, unless I do something with the time portals differently. So how about I do that instead? Let's go through here, and let's point this one there like that, and have a time portal there, but we're going to fix that in a second. So, let's put the time portal there, 
So it pulls, but also, I don't think that's what I wanted at all. Um, let me change that around, so that's there. So now if I do that portal there, it pulls me up. It also means that I can use my portals here better, and more efficiently. Because now I can put a blue portal there, which means I can now pull myself through there. But I need to get the cube up here as well. So, let's just put a portal there, and a portal there, and let's put the other portal there. That worked a lot easier than it did the other time I went through this. I don't know why. Anyway, we can get rid of that now. And we have this cube to put onto the button. And there we go. Having the time pool on the top bit, or well, bottom bit, worked a lot better than the other way around. Whichever way I put it at the well, end. This was not the way this chamber was meant to be completed. But good on you for solving it anyway. Please quickly travel to the other timeline to continue. I didn't solve it the correct way, maybe? I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure I did it right, because I'm here. But the time-bending technology used to create these time portals is only stable in one specific configuration. We cannot choose the exact point in time to which the time portals will lead. We can only take a small glimpse of what the facility looks like 20 years from now. What exactly transpired is still unknown, but the data we collected points to a single rogue test subject. Okay, so we have a cube that's going to drop from there. We have this funnel that's going through there, but we also have these things in the way. But it still allows the funnel to go through. If we step on this button, it turns off the the funnel. If we step on this button, it reverses it. And that's about it. So let's activate that and pull this through here. But now we need to get off of that and we need to disable that. Actually, we probably could have just done it normally. <laughs> you know, that other thing? Oh, it's gone. That's fine. We need to activate that. We need it to... We need to respawn it manually, apparently. That's fine. So we do it like that, and then we disable that, and then re-enable it. So it's over there now. And now we put a orange portal there. And, oh, hang on. Oh, hang on. Nope, 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 nope. Reverse, and then that one there. To pull it through a little bit more. Uh, we also need to do that, but also do it the opposite way. And then, orange portal there, reversing it. And then, orange portal there, reversing it again, back to normal. And that will press down the button there. Which disables that fizzler up there. So there we go. But now we need to do it again, in the future, to get a cube to us. Which is a little bit easier, because we have that portable surface there. So, let's see. I need to do it again, same way. Just need to get it to the portal this time. Okay, bounce that up there, re enable that. Do that there. Actually, no, I can just do that there. Then let's. Hang on. Let's drop that in there. Have that go through there. But just to make sure I'm doing this right... I think I've done it wrong, actually. Ah, uh, we need it. Somehow... Hang on, let me do... That. I think that's wrong. No, it isn't. Yes? No. Hang on. If I do... Something. If I do something... I'm pretty sure I messed this up. No, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I can do that. And that. And then I can put it into there. And reverse it. To put it back into the area. 
like so. And then I put the orange portal up there, and then I let it go. And that should just press the button. In the event that something horrific were to happen to this facility in the future, my protocol is to find a viable candidate that can withstand the effects of time travel on the human body and help to rectify whatever led to the tragic events of the future. That's where you come in. We need you to stop this test subject dead in its tracks and save the facility. Uh, I don't know if I want to do that considering I know who that test subject is and all that stuff. It's a different character, but you know. I, I, I know about that character and what they do. Because of uh, me being the player and everything. Welcome to the final chamber. Don't get overwhelmed. Take everything one step at a time, and you will soon find the solution. Okay, so this test happens in basically four parts, kind of. Well, except there's a fifth. There's a fifth step as well. So we have that gate that we need to turn off, get through, turn off the second gate, and then go through, turn off the third gate and go through, and turn off the fourth gate and go through. We can only turn off one gate at a time using the testing elements we have here. So. Let's get started. Uh, also, in the in the present, we have this laser up there and the funnel there. In the future, we don't have those, but we do have a light bridge there. Okay, we have to activate that there for the second thing. That one there for the first one, that one there for the third one, and that button up there for the f uh, fourth one. But there's also, which I found out the hard way, a switch up there which we also have to activate separately from that one. We have to have both the fourth switch and the fifth switch up there active at the same time to get through the exit. So that's all that. Let's go get ourselves a cube. So starting off, let's activate that there. Bring the cube to us. It's a laser redirection cube because we need it. Okay, so let's grab that out. And for some reason, depending on which way you do this, it actually re-aligns the cube like this. Uh, as it's going up that way. Uh, but we need to have this cube here. And let's go through time now. I know this, this test very well now because of having trouble with it. And having to redo it a couple times because of messing up the final step. Uh, but now we need to have this one here pointed at that. Very nice. Let's have the laser test that out. That one activates that. That one activates that. That's the first door down. So let's head out up. We can do everything in the third and fourth and fifth steps from up here. So that's how we need to do it. Activate that. And now it's time to figure out this. Which I can't remember exactly how to do it. Uh, let me think. I need to have an orange portal up there. But I will, actually, no, I can't do that. I need to have the blue portal there, orange portal there. But I can also, I also need to stop uh, the cube in its place. So let's go through time, and let's put uh, the blue. Oh, which one? Which one am I moving? I'm moving the orange one. This is important. This is very important. So let's put the orange one there, just because we can't use that at the moment. And the blue one up there. I think that's right. So I'm going to move through, change the orange one. You can also do it the other way around because that's how the portals work. Uh, so I'm going to put the orange one there. Then go through the time portal. Put the... No, I need the orange one to stay there. I can actually... Oh no, that's actually wrong. I've done it backwards. It's fine, let's put the blue one, no, hang on. Yes, I can leave the blue one there. And there. Orange one goes up there, except I'm gonna have to go through a mover anyway. Because I need that there. Okay. Oh, but, uh, yeah, I'm moving it anyway. Okay, I think everything is in position. Okay, orange portal, go through. Uh, orange portal, go back through, time portal, and that puts a lot, that puts the bridge there, to stop the cube there so we can go through this door. Okay, and now we just need to get rid 
of the bridge to get through here. Because I'll press the button up there, allowing us through. Okay, so now we have the last step where we need to have the future cube over here somehow. So, uh, let me just press that so we can see where the cube is in time. And let's go through here. We need to have the blue portal there, orange portal there. Okay. Hang on, which one did I place on the ground? I placed the orange one on the ground. Okay, that can stay like that. But I will have to move the blue one in a second here. So, I go... Well, I'm going to have to move the, both of them anyway, so let's just do that to reset the cube timer. Go through here. Oh, that's already... That's already set up. Cool. So when it reaches the top, it's actually going to spawn in the future cube again because it needs to make sure it's in the right spot. And it will send it flying to us. Just like that. So let's go back through here. Put down the switch and we're done. Astonishing. You really did it. You've proven to be capable of nearly anything. Now it's time for your real mission. We will put you back in stasis until the day of the incident, and you will be the one to prevent it. This vacuum tube will take you back to the long-term human storage vault. You will be awoken when the time comes to use your special abilities to save this facility from its impending doom. Well, we're going to the stasis chambers. The Enrichment Center thanks you for your contribution to science. You are going to achieve great things in the future and change the course of history. And that is Portal Reloaded. Thinking in four dimensions. It's pretty cool. It, it's very well made. I just don't think the story is that interesting. But I'm assuming that by going back into the stasis chambers, we don't we don't survive that. And so we don't actually stop the calamity from happening, probably. So that that's just my interpretation of this this. Just going back into the stasis chambers. Because otherwise, none of that testing would have ever happened in the first place. If we stopped the Calamity, none of that broken down stuff would have happened. Doesn't make any kind of sense. This this whole time travel doesn't make any kind of sense in the way that it's set up. At all. It's just... It's fine. Anyway, let's head back in from the last place we were at. Okay, back at the end. We dis our, our time travel will be we disabled will put you back by going through here. Until the day of the but at the very and least, will be the one why do I have a? It. Why don't I have a? Why don't I have a crosshair anymore? I should have a thing here. It's fine. This but anyway, we can place a portal there and portal there the human because we want to go to the elevator you to the surface. When the time comes to use your special abilities to save this facility from its impending doom, we have to save it from the timeline, breaking the timeline though, because that's more important than anything else. So let's go back through here, and we're going to get our time trouble back. Warning. Luckily, you are going the wrong way. Please be aware that escaping is not an option here. You are far too important. If you won't go voluntarily, we will be forced to destroy your current body in order to put you back together in the stasis chamber. Um, how about no? I'm getting out of here. Be a small oh, hello. To pay in order to help save the facility. Think of it as a sacrifice to science. Thank you, and goodbye. Oh boy, we're getting close to that. Well, I'm going down this way, though. Warning, you are deviating from your path. These are broken in the future. Oh, speaking of broken. Facility power has reached critical levels. Connection unstable. Well, here we are. 
Let's go into the elevator. And we have uh, successfully escaped. We've made it. We are free. On the surface. In the middle of a forest. And we've lost our poor gun's ability there. Oh, aliens. Oh, um... Well, that's the, uh... The alternate ending. Which I guess could be the true ending. Kind of. Because that way the timeline can work properly. Even though the rest of the testing doesn't work with time travel anyway. So to explain my idea, uh, my, my understanding of this time travel is it doesn't feel smooth in its, the, the way that it works. Because of its, like the direct, <laughs> like when you take a cube to the future it should be okay. But that just means that the cube in the future wouldn't be there. That's, that's just all I'm saying. But also if you took that cube back to the past after you had put that cube onto a button, then the cube would still be there in the future as well, so you could actually have two button cubes in the future. But it, it's like, I don't know how, I don't know how to explain this. In this it feels like a snapshot timeline. So each time you go back to the past, you're actually going, and then go back to the future, you're actually going to a different future. So, yeah, that's like the second, that's the second frame of that timeline basically. But the past always stays in the same timeline, I guess. I don't know. And then that just keeps going on the more you change something in the past or and go back and forth between the, the future and the past when you go back in time. Uh, but it would make more sense if when you place something in the past and go to the future, it's there, but then you move it and then you go back to the past and move that again. It doesn't mean that that can't change. That means that when you go back to the future, between that 20 years, that portal was moved back to the original pl place, but uh, because you moved it in the future already, it's technically still viable, because you could also go back in time after you've solved the test and put the portal back on the first place, and then it still connects the timeline smoothly. This is how time travel make, makes way more sense than what it does in this game. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. I just have a few gripes about time travel. It's fine. Anyway, that is it for now. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.